Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 17, 2022. If you like the support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's do, look, start looking at the, the WTI oil. And as you can see, we did break down towards $112 a barrel, and uh, then we basically popped. So we are in this range here, breaking below the discount stick here, opens the door to the 50 moving average, which at the current age is trading at $108 per barrel. This went fairly parabolical. We were in a very uh, nice channel here, but then it all of a sudden popped. So it got fairly overstretched at this current stage. Would it be surprised if we rallied, uh, dropped down towards the 50 moving average and then continuing, continue up? Uh, because going forward, if the uh, if shortages continue and there's still demand for oil, which there is at this current stage, then we are most likely going to go higher. However, European economy, uh, Asian economy, uh, China's economy, and the uh, United, States, United States economy are looking worse and worse for every single day. And uh, that being the fact, uh, it is pretty easy for this to basically fall off a cliff if uh, demand for oil just all of a sudden stops. So. If that was the case, if we break below the 50 moving average, then it's probably that we'll head back towards the 200 moving average before we find any uh, major support. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and RSI is uh, bullish as well. So let's look at natural gas. It has been all over the place, but it is starting to look like this market is uh, running out of steam. We had this parabolical move here. We dropped towards the 20 simple moving average. Then we tested the 50 moving average. Then we tested the 20. And then all of a sudden, it basically, the momentum in this market just vanished and we broke down quite aggressively. We did test the 50 moving average and got rejected there. And that should be a massive warning for this market that this could tumble all the way down to the 200 moving average. So if you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish and there's fairly little room to the downside. Doesn't mean that we'll drop uh, like we did here, 18% to the downside. I think the major drop in this market has already uh, gone. It was basically from the $9.6 uh, all the way down towards uh, $7, give or take. And that's probably not something that we'll see uh, again in a very, very long time. Uh, but this was basically built on that the European were going to build, uh, buy uh, LNG from the United States, which at this current stage looks very unlikely and implausible as they cannot deliver. So they will have to get uh, natural gas somewhere else or basically change to other um, other resource of energy so so this has basically gone up in smoke and what we are most likely going to see is a continuation to the downside if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then we have the simple moving average right here that we have to break to before going back towards the all-time highs so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos good luck thank you very much